Hi, I'm Mike Adamson with Innovax, uh, here to give a little product demonstration on our smart storage technologies. Uh, so what we have here is a brand new product we're debuting at Apex. It's a new high capacity smart rack. In a very small footprint, less than two and a half square feet, we can store up to 880 small reels. Each individual location has a sensor and an LED. The sensor helps us to detect when reels get added or removed, and the LED helps to indicate, provide feedback, uh, and help us pull our reels uh, when it's time for a job. So to begin, I'll add a couple reels into the system. We'll enter the add section of our software. At this point, we simply scan any information we want to track on each individual reel, in this case, just a part number and a quantity. And now because of our smart sensor technology, I can add this reel into any open location. I don't have to pick and choose the right location. When I insert the reel, the system detects where we've added it, and the green blinking LED gives us the feedback that's been successfully received into inventory. So we can very quickly and easily scan in multiple reels in a very short amount of time uh, into our smart storage system. When it comes time to retrieve parts, we can receive the bill of material or job requests through our software API. We can also manually import pick lists. So I will simply select a job that we've stored on our system. And when we're ready to pull the job, every reel that we require is going to be lit up on the cart. We can also see our smart beacons on the top, giving us indication of which carts are storing our parts and which side of our carts uh, parts can be found on as well. If I'm working in a stock room at this point, I simply remove every light that I see as fast as I can. So we can build a kit in seconds per line item instead of minutes and have a completed kit in minutes instead of hours. We can also issue our parts in a particular order. So for instance, many of our customers will use this at the point of use right next to their feeder loading operation. And at this point, we simply look for the first blinking green light, which would indicate feeder one. We remove that reel, load it onto our feeder, and the system is ready to go with the next reel in line. This makes it very quick and efficient to expedite the feeder loading process as well. So in addition to our stationary high capacity storage options, we're also displaying our mobile storage solutions as well. So this is one of our flagship carts, the IA700. This allows our users to quickly and efficiently move material throughout their facility in a smart system has all of the same features as sensors and LEDs, has the option to run on a battery as well, which gives you full control throughout the facility. So we can imagine pulling the same kit from our stockroom area directly into a mobile unit. And so in this use case, we can very quickly and easily transfer one reel at a time from one smart storage location to another. We see again, the indicator LEDs gives us the feedback that we've successfully transferred the material from one location to another. And our smart technology means that we do not need a verification scan in between each of these steps. So we can very quickly and easily transfer material from our smart storage in the stockroom to a smart mobile cart that can deliver our material out to the line. Once our mobile cart has been moved to the floor and is ready for a feeder loading operation, we can actually allow users to prompt through the required reels one by one. So when we look at the machine, the first blinking green LED would correspond to feeder one in our loading operation. When we remove this reel, we load it on our feeder. The cart is already ready for us with uh, the reel required for feeder number two. Our screen is displaying the relevant feeder locations, and this can help us get away from uh, inefficient paper feeder setup operations. If at any time an incorrect reel is picked, will blink an error message notifying the user of an unauthorized pick and also display the information on the screen. As soon as the reel is put back into place, the user can resume normal operation. That unauthorized pick is logged in our system so we can try to track down errors and misuses after the fact.